How will these overnight queues impact our own markets? We have a research team joining in with just that, the trade setup, the stocks that are likely to be in the news and the action from the FNO space as well. Hey guys, a very good morning uh, to all of you. Ekta, looks like it could be a good day. What is the market setup looking like today? Thanks for that. Well, yes, there have been many good days on a trot. The markets did post a record close but ended off the intraday highs. Yesterday, the Sensex crossed 70,000 on an intraday basis. FII's net bought around 1,261 crores. They've net bought around 12,000 crores plus in December month to date. And DII's also bought around 1,032 crores in yesterday's trading session. The big cue is that the Fed meet begins on the 12th of December, which is today. We also have the US CPI data for the month of November, estimated to be flat on a month on month basis, but the core CPI is still expected to be steady at around 4 odd percent. Global markets, US markets ended higher, Dow at the highest levels we've seen since Jan of 2022. Asia, uh, Japan has really led Asia higher this morning. Crude oil largely flat with investors still a little wary, so Brent crude at around $76 per barrel, gift nifty indicating a positive start. We also have cues such as the macro data from India, the CPI data which is estimated at around 5.7 to 6% and IIP which is estimated at around 10 odd percent. So a lot of cues from the macro front, global cues would be top of mind. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much, Ekta, for joining us with all those cues. A lot of stocks on our radar as well. Hormaz is joining us with that list. Morning, Hormaz. Morning, Sonal. Plenty of them as always. And I'll start off with some QIPs and block deals. I'll start off with Sterling and Wilson, which launched its QIP last evening. It's a 1500 crore issue. The floor price is an 18% discount to yesterday's closing price. We've reported about this multiple times. Vivek had highlighted this on the 6th of December. It was also highlighted on the D Street Chatter yesterday on the 12th as well. And JNK Bank also launched its QIP. It's a 7 50 crore issue. The floor price is a 9.1% discount to the current market price and we had reported about this at the D Street Chatter uh, yesterday as well. Mankind Pharma, where a block deal is likely to take place, sources say that 6.9% of the total equity worth around 49.50 crore is likely to change hands and it also has an upsize option of another 7.9% worth nearly 5,500 crore rupees. The floor price of 17.85 per share is a 7% discount to the current market price and Beige Investments, Link Investment Trusts are among the likely sellers in this transaction. Another top level exit from an IT company, this time it's Infosys, wherein Nilanjan Roy has quit as the CFO, that will be effective. Uh, from 2024. Uh, Jay Sangrajka, the current deputy CFO, will take over in that role. And in reaction to this news, the Infosys ADR ended nearly 3% lower overnight. Uh, Sun Pharma, it has revised its offer to acquire the remaining outstanding shares of Taro. They now plan to acquire those shares at $43 apiece compared to the earlier offer of $38. And But they have also mentioned that there is no assurance that these negotiations will reach a definitive agreement. Rail Vikas Nigam, where its joint venture has emerged as the lowest bidder for a Madhya Pradesh Metro Rail Corporation project was 543 crore rupees. Dixon Technologies, where its arm pageant will manufacture laptops and notebooks under the PLI 2.0 scheme for Lenovo. And remember, the stock ended at a record high yesterday. And SpiceJet, the board meeting that was supposed to be held yesterday, will continue today as well for its fundraising and for its earnings as well. Back to you. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Hormas, for joining us with that list. Let's now talk about the FNO space. Uh, Nigel is joining us now. Hey, Nigel. Well, morning, Sonal. You know, the markets are looking very, very good. The Nifty, in fact, you know, you're not even getting those shallow dips of around 100 points. Or so the trend is up. But in the near term, just want to highlight a couple of facts. When the Nifty moves up, normally you see the VIX cool down. That didn't happen yesterday. Maybe it's ahead of a big event because the IVs are moving higher out there. So that's sometimes a word of caution, maybe in fact uh, a small pullback or maybe some kind of consolidation just in the near term. So putting that on the table. Next up, what do the FIs do? Well, uh, they added some mild, uh, you know, uh, some um, mild long positions as well as some short positioning. Currently, in fact, the short positioning is at around 43%. On the options data side, well, the 21,000 call, well, that was fairly active as well as the 20,900 put. And both those two, they have the highest open interest. So, you know, just plugging in those numbers out there, or the 21,000 call, if you're writing it, then the 21,100 level. That becomes a bit of a resistance zone. On the downside, we have seen the 20,850 numerous times has been defended in the last few trading sessions. I think that will come up for you at some point of time. So 20,850, that's a crucial support uh, zone on the downside. Today, the important trigger will be the Nifty Financial Services Index because that's the one that plays out uh, weekly expiry today as well. And the broad range is at around the 21,000, 21,400. 
the index you're looking at actually should be the Nifty Financial Services Index, not the Nifty. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind. That's at around the 21,200 or thereabouts. For starters, the gift 50 suggests we start off in the green. Can we go ahead and decisively conquer the 21,000 mark? That's important. But resistance is seen at around 21,100. Back to you. Okay, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead. Time for a short break now. When we return, the RBI says the fiscal outlook for India's states and union territories remains favorable. More details on the other side. Stay tuned for that. <laughs>